Good day everyone. Three months have passed since I made this video where I told you that I'm going to sell my Tenere 700 and buy something lighter. That video to my standards uh, was widely popular uh, and now it's time that I give you my honest opinion whether I regret selling my big adventure motorcycle uh, and buying a lighter dual sport or not. Now this is something that I could talk about for hours on end uh, and perhaps I should do that in a future video. But in this video, I boil it down to one thing that I really regret or really miss about the Tenere 700 uh, and two things that I really like uh, kind of achieving or having with a lighter uh, bike like the DRZ. Then I'm going to try to summarize the switch from an adventure bike to a dual sport. So what do I miss about the Tenere 700? Uh, I do miss the sound. CP2 engine with the Hussar exhaust was a mean sounding bike. Everyone was turning their heads, uh, you know, but uh, the one thing that I really miss about the Tenor 700 is uh, its power, uh, the bike's touring capability. Uh, I know it's not a tourer, but compared to the DRZ, it's like a Goldwing. The power, the, the, passing, uh, the passing power, just staying on the highway at 120 kilometers per hour, that is not possible with the DRZ and that is honestly the only thing that I miss about the T7. Of course I could say something like you know I miss the refinement uh, of having a a more modern bike. Uh, the T7 I had was a 2020 bike and the DRZ is very old, uh, old school, rattly, vibrations, noisy etc but there are mo more modern dual sports out there so I could have bought something like the CRF 3, 300L uh, and that would have been a lot more refined uh, so, you know, I don't necessarily uh, miss uh, the refinement. So yeah, the touring capability of the T7, that is the only thing that I miss. Now, what do I like about the DRZ? The number one thing, the biggest change, of course, is the bike's lighter weight. Uh, from, you know, everyday things like putting the bike into the garage, taking it out of there, uh, maintenance, uh, propping it up uh, on a stand, taking the wheels off. Everything is so much easier with a lighter bike. Uh, but the main thing is the riding. You know, it's it's a trail bike, trail slash adventure bike, but I'm, I am adventurizing my DRZ. So I want a bike that I could ride across the world and find a trail and not be limited by the bike's capability. So that's why I went with a lot lighter bike. And now, locally, when I ride, being uh, so much lighter, I can. It has opened so much more trails to me. Uh, when I rode the T7 or any other adventure bike, I had to be really careful with where I rode because it's you know it's it's not necessarily meant for those kinds uh, of trails uh, because of its weight. Uh, but with the DRZ, I can just you know I can just head in any direction and. I will get out of there uh, on the DRZ or I have to pull it out. It's that light. So number one thing, the lightweight, the biggest change, absolutely love it. Now, the second thing that I really like about the DRZ, uh, and this is kind of uh, limited to the DRZ um, and not dual sports in general, like the lighter weight uh, point that I previously made, because modern dual sports, they, they seem to, to get more technologically advanced as well. Uh, and the second thing that I like about the DRZ is its simplicity. Uh, and the, D, uh, the T7 uh, is known to be simple, uh, but still, uh, you know, assessing the, the spark plugs on the T7, if you drown your bike uh, during a river cross, the first thing you should do is set up your tent so you have shelter uh, because it will take you whole days of work. Uh, with the DRZ, just lift the tank, shut the pedal off, and, and you are basically there. Same with uh, with valve check and just maintenance and having to do with the DRZ. It's so simple, and, and that is something that I really, really like about my bike. Now, taking a step back, looking at the switch from adventure motorcycle to a dual sport, uh, the Tenere 700, to a DRZ 400, what have I lost and what have I gained? I have lost touring comfort, no doubt. The DRZ is not good on the pavement, uh, or at least not as good as the T7. 
But what have I gained? I've gained uh, a bunk that is twice as capable. And uh, as so many of my awesome subscribers uh, have commented on previous videos, Adventure Motorcycling, uh, or motorcycling in general, is all about compromise. Uh, and personally, I, I made a compromise less uh, highway capable. I don't like riding highways at all anyways, uh, for something that is a lot more off-road capable. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. I will never own a bike heavier than 150 kilograms uh, ever again. Uh, probably shouldn't say it on record, but yeah, let's see how that goes. Anywho, thank you for watching. If you have uh, done something similar as I have, or perhaps went the other way from dual sport to adventure, please share your thoughts. I, I love discussing motorcycles uh, with you guys on YouTube. Comment section is always open. Have a nice day and please, please ride safe.